Hello, I'm Jennifer Shahadi. And I'm Macaulay Peterson, and we have a new U.S. Women's Champion tonight. Anna Zatonsky repeats her title from 2008, but the circumstances could not be more different. No Armageddon playoff this time. She was close to perfect this week, getting out to seven and a half points from the first eight rounds, enough to clinch tonight. Yes, and her last two wins, both with Black against Rusadan Golatiani and today against Sabina Foyzer. After getting a kind of equal position in the opening, she managed to get a very nice middle game and uh, pawn up Bishops of Opposite Color Endgame. We weren't sure if she would take the draw to clinch the title, but of course Anna played like a champion for the win, and not just for the win, but for the win in style with Bishop to E4 sacrificing her bishop at the end to queen all of her pawns. Over the last three days, 15 decisive games. That's five games over three days in a row. I don't think that's ever happened before in a close tournament. Uh, those people checking the record books are going to have their work cut out for them because that is an incredible amount of decisive games in this tournament. One person racking up three wins in a row was Irina Crush, who went on a late tear here. Not enough to challenge for first place, but she'll be certainly uh, playing for second tomorrow. Irina plays against Tatev Abrahamian while Camilla Bahanskaiti faces Sabina Foyzer. And Alyssa Melikina, unfortunately out of her hunt for an international master norm, falling today to Irina Zenyuk. Yes, and that was a very nice game where Irina Zenyuk correctly intuited that after Melikina's A5, there were just too many loose pieces in Alyssa's position. And Zenyuk was in a great mood. At the end of the round, she came and talked to us in the commentary room to explain a little bit more about the critical moments of her game. A5 is a mistake. I had like, how many, 10 minutes, is this right? And I thought like, so, there has to be something in this position. And luckily for me, I had like enough time to find it. And, right, because knight b6 hangs, knight h3 is not defended, and rook d8 is defended by queen, which is overloaded. So, took on e5 and knight h5. So I take queen with a check. So join us tomorrow for the exciting battle for second place. And we'll also find out if Anna can get to eight and a half out of nine and keep her 2700 plus performance rating. So tune in tomorrow at a new time, 10 a.m. here in St. Louis. That's 11 a.m. East Coast ICC time and 5 p.m. for those of you in Amsterdam.